Welcome everyone, Mate Talk Time. Have a look at this. I am in the beautiful, uh, along the coast of New South Wales. I actually am working, believe it or not. Um, I am also, this month has been crazy traveling all around Australia. Uh, but this is the last of my travels and we decided to enjoy a little bit along the, uh, the coast. We're working not far from here. And, uh, and I thought it would be cool to do a mate talk on, you know, Australia is known for its beautiful beaches. And uh, this, is, this is heaven's, or this is God's country around here. Right here is Jarvis Bay. Or what you're seeing is Jarvis Bay. Uh, glorious white sand. It goes for miles. Miles that way, miles this way. Uh, and it's just, just a beautiful part of the world. Anyway. And I, um, what I've been asked to do today is uh, give or provide three uh, fragrances. Well, I'm going to share three fragrances that have a chocolate accent. So capital M, capital A, I'm guessing it's an acronym for the person's name. Um, ask me for some chocolate scented fragrances and I, uh, I'm going to share that. But being that I, I knew I was going to be on this along this coast. So I would also like to share three fragrances that I would use for the beach. So I'm not necessarily aquatic, even though they are, but I'm gonna give that a, keep that as a surprise. So I'm gonna start off first with the chocolate. But before I do anything, I hope you have your favorite drink. I actually picked this up, do you like it? It's uh, my new mate holder. Uh, along this coast, there's some beautiful coastal towns and I uh, came across a little pottery place. They create their own stuff. I love this and I, like, I always like collecting stuff. <laughs> I'm a collector. Uh, I like collecting stuff from around the area and so this is officially my new mate holder for this region. Excuse me. So I'm actually here with my family. I don't know if you saw that. That's my little grandbaby and I'm gonna talk about them in a minute along with my daughter and my son-in-law. So they're actually all around me right now. But let me kick off. So um, M.A. asked me to recommend uh, some chocolate scented fragrances. And I would like to start off with, this is a new launch by Boyce 1920. It is a uh, Fonde Tantricio. Tan, tan, oh my gosh, I always forget. Tan, tarancio, Fonde Tarancio. It's brand new, hence why I'm learning how to say it properly. Now, fondant tarantula, the reason why I like, I'm gonna start with this one here because the chocolate note is chocolate. And the other two that I wanna share have a distinct accent to them with that chocolate. So this is, if you want just a nice chocolate scented fragrance, it doesn't stay chocolate because otherwise, I don't know, it's like smearing chocolate on you. Um, it starts off rather than with an orange uh, note, it actually has tangerine. I've got it on my hand. Actually, I sprayed it early, but I'm gonna spray it again give you that opening note. So what, I guess what I fell in love, I love the smell of either tangerine or mandarin in those openings. I find that th those particular citruses are, are very different to your traditional citrus. It opens with that chocolate and that tangerine note and it is unique and glorious at the same time. It dries down more, uh, it has a, a vanilla, it also has patchouli, so it does dry down a bit more woody, I guess, with a vanilla accent, a sort of softness to it. It retains its chocolateness and also retains that early citrus. So it does stay that orangey sort of, or that sort of citrus orange sort of combination. Although it doesn't, um, the, the other notes begin to play more, all right? So it starts off in that chocolate sense, uh, but then it dries down a bit more musky, a bit more woody in, in, in that sort of space. I like it because the actual bottle too is actually hand painted. So every bottle is new, or sorry, unique. Every bottle is unique in its design. Anyway, there's one, recommend it. It's a brand new launch. Um, I, I like Boys 1920, they're, they're an awesome brand. The next one that I'd like to put forward, and uh, you guys have heard me talk about this, Symphonia, and this is glorious. So now we're moving into milk chocolate. I've got it on my leg, I'm gonna spray it again. There it is. Because the opening note on this, excuse me while I, oh, it's just divine. So what I love about this is that it has, it has this um, orange, also tangerine opening, but it's, it, it's not too fruity and citrus. 
So it, it actually is very subtle, very, it's a very sophisticated fragrance. The milk chocolate, it comes in, now it, milk chocolate is in the heart, but for me the milk chocolate comes in very, very quickly. Uh, I define this as a milky milk chocolate. So, and think luxurious, think like a, uh, like a lint chocolate, uh, something just very velvety. This is sophistication. This fragrance here is just sublime. I was wearing it the other day. Actually, I was wearing it, it was quite a, quite a drive uh, to this uh, region. I was wearing it in the car. I stepped out of the car, came back in, and the car just, it smelt of this fragrance. My, and I mentioned before, I'm here with my grand, uh, with my family, with my uh, daughter and my son-in-law. Um, my granddaughter loves wearing Symphonia. She's constantly pointing this one out. I've got a little, little I put all the, all the fragrances on a, on a, on a uh, shelf and uh, she is constantly reaching for this. It smells amazing on her. Um, but this is just a glorious chocolate fragrance. So this is one. I'm gonna keep moving quickly because that sun's gonna go on me. My light's gonna go. Next one, Bocanera. Now, my older granddaughter does not like this. This is Oud Divine. So if you like Oud, this is an awesome fragrance. If you're really uh, afraid of Oud, I don't recommend it to you. This is a dark chocolate, spicy on the opening. That chocolate, but it's a dark, rich chocolate, almost cacao-like. Um, but it has the Oud in it also, and it creates this beautiful chocolatey, animalic um, warmth to it. It is very woody. Uh, I was wearing this also the other day, but it's a much heavier scent. So this would be, this would be great in winter. Uh, Sylphonium is glorious in this kind of weather. It has a very light sort of uh, happiness to it. Uh, whereas Bocanetta, it, there's a much more, it's a lot more heavy as a scent, but as a dark, dark chocolate, milky chocolate. All right, let me move on. I'm gonna have some mud there first. I need to slow down a little bit. We go for walks along here in the morning. This is heaven. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly bring up three fragrances. So being that we're in this sort of marine beach aquatic scene or, uh, or, or um, location, I wanted to bring three creeds. I have, um, I've done some earlier episodes on creeds. I'm a huge fan of creeds, all things creed. Uh, these two here are classic aquatic. So I've been wearing Millicent Imperial today. This is, it starts off very salty, very marine-like. So all, we're already from the opening, it gives you a very beautiful marine blast. Without exaggeration, this area smells like Millicent Imperial. Uh, as I was walking before preparing for, t uh, for doing the Mata talk, I'm actually smelling the air and I'm like, it smells like Millicent Imperial. So, so that sea salt, that aquaticness, that, that vibrance of being along you know, the, the ocean front um, is definitely what this has in a bottle. When it dries down, as I said, I've been wearing all day today, dries down a little bit on the musky side. So I'm gonna say the ambergris that's in the base is definitely coming through, but it doesn't lose its marine-like qualities to it. Then there's a Rolfa. Now, so if, if Millicent Imperial um, is sophistication, it's good for the office, it's awesome for a party, Erolfa is brightness, happiness, sunshine. It starts off, for me, it has the most glorious citrus opening. I mean, think anything citrus and it has it in there. Lime, bergamot, orange, tangerine, lemon. So it has this just glorious, exploding citrus vibrance to it, but there's a melon note in there. And there's a, a sweetness that comes, that that, that that melon brings in, and that for me, it retains it throughout the whole fragrance. That sweet melon note that, that has in the opening stays throughout the fragrance. As the fragrance migrates, it goes into the more uh, into the more aquatic saltiness of it. Actually, I had it on this arm. I've been wearing this one too. This is also my grandbaby's favorite. So my, uh, the girls are wearing this. It's just, look, it's, 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 um, it's a marine, it's a beautiful marine fragrance, but it has the vibrance of the, the, the citrus at the opening and then the vibrance of the fruits. My son is leaving, I'm gonna close this baby down. And then there's Aventus. Now I actually bought Aventus Cologne. I, what I like about Aventus Cologne is the, it has a much brighter opening, it's a lot more citrus in that start. 
but it has the classic DNA of Aventus. So that birch tar, the, the, the woods in the base. My, my little grandbaby is wearing this, so the, the boy in the family, and my son-in-law is also wearing this. People complain that Aventus or Aventus Cologne doesn't have longevity. I'm gonna disagree with you. I've never found a problem with Aventus Cologne. Um, I find that it's, it, it stays there. I sprayed this, my, so my son-in-law sprayed it this morning. My grandbaby boy, I sprayed it on him this morning and it was what, three, four o'clock and I am still smelling Aventus Cologne on my grandson. All right, my son is gone. <laughs> I don't know what the shot's gonna look like, but there it is. Sorry guys, that was a bit of a rushed mate talk. I do apologize, but there you go. Uh, three chocolate in, uh, sort of infused fragrances. Three aquatics, that was a little bit more uh, improvised being that we're in this beautiful setting. Um, look forward to hearing your comments. Please tell me of other notes that you'd like me to draw out on and I'm more than happy to share. Just so you let you know, whatever fragrance I put forward is actually in my collection, okay? So uh, if you're gonna ask me to, to look at particular notes, I will make sure that it's something that's in my collection that I know and that way I can share with you guys and share how I wear it and how I enjoy it and what are the difference between them. Thanks everyone, enjoy your mate or your drink. We'll see you on the next mate talk.